Hello Bitcoin holders. This is a warning for every Bitcoin holders. I'm going to talk about why we can see 7k for Bitcoin very very soon. We are also going to be doing a technical analysis and as well as a price prediction for Bitcoin. With that said, if you want to stay updated with the latest crypto news, Bitcoin news, and Ethereum news, might as well subscribe and absolutely turn on the post notifications. This is DC Trading. Uh, let's get right into this video. Okay, guys. So, as you guys know, we did fail to keep above the 20,000 support level, which is very, very key. This is a very bad for Bitcoin. So make sure to watch the whole video so you guys are informed on what's going on. So as you guys know, we struggled here to keep, you know, above the 20,000. And many of it had to do with, you know, the feds and, you know, Mike, um, what's his name? Jerome Powell just came out yesterday with in a meeting talking about inflation and saying that the only way to fight inflation is going to cause a higher risk of a recession. As a result, people were panicking and selling their Bitcoin and other assets, as you guys can see. As you can see right here, they started selling, and especially right here, there's just a lot of volume around this area is they're selling their position around this area because a lot of people are expecting Bitcoin to go even lower. I think to 7K, because if you look at the all-time high, we are going to retrace all the way back to 90%, which if you calculate 69,000, to 90% uh, of 69,000, that is 7K basically, guys. Yes, that brings us to 7 to 11K around. So people are expecting that as a result during a recession, guys. You got to understand. If there is a fear of a recession, the best thing to do is to pull out your, your, you know, to sell all your assets, carry a lot of cash, and to wait for a recession to happen. And that's what a lot of people are doing. The regular people like us are doing. We are selling our position of Bitcoin and other assets, waiting for it to go even lower because of the fears of a recession. Because you guys know inflation is continuing to go up. Jerome Powell said it's going to continue to go up this month, the next month. Uh, and then we're stuck as well as, you know, the stimulus checks are not helping. As you guys know. California just passed it where they're going to give out a thousand dollar stimulus checks. And that's bad because we are printing out money out of nowhere, making the dollar weaker. Also, if you guys think about it, the economy is doing bad because the economy is doing bad. People are saving their money instead of spending it. So this is very bad because. Even with the stimulus check, people are not going to buy things. They're just going to hold it and wait for things to go down even lower. So we're just digging ourselves in a deeper hole, which is why we struggled to keep above the 20,000. We failed an hour below. We did go as low as 18,738. As you guys can see, it is continuing to struggle to keep above, to go back up to the 20,000 support level. As you guys can see so if you guys you know there was a lot of warning signs as you guys know with the news as well as that descending channel which is bear bearish pattern as you guys can see we had lower highs that's already a warning sign and we were struggling you know we were just around this area we couldn't move up a lot of buyers a lot of there wasn't a lot of volume and when there was it was just a lot of sellers selling their position of Bitcoin as you guys can see so what is next for Bitcoin well right now in the next few days I do believe Bitcoin will eventually go back up to the 20,000 it's gonna be like this consolidating around 20,000 
waiting for something big to happen, like some news in regards to the feds, the economy, cryptocurrencies, all that stuff. As you guys can see, we did struggle to keep above. So I do have some more news with Bitcoin and crypto in general. As you guys can see, we are in a bear market. It is very evident with this month to date. In the month of June, 136 million went out of Ethereum as well as 407 million went out of Bitcoin. As you guys can see, overall, 523 million went out of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. This is telling me that people are waiting for a recession to occur because they're holding, you know, they're selling their positions, holding cash, waiting for everything to tank. Yes, but there, I mean, there is some good news. I mean, we have some bullish news. Mike, I mean, Michael Saylor, which everyone should already know, bought another $10 million worth of Bitcoin yesterday. At around 20,000, he is still bullish long term. I want you to comment down below what you guys think of this. Are you buying the dip right now? Is this a good investment? He thinks it's a good investment because he put $10 million yesterday into Bitcoin. And as you guys can see, he has $3.98 billion at an average price of 30000 which I do believe is a good investment long term. So yeah, even though we do have wells like this investing, a lot of other wells are waiting. <clears throat> They're waiting for it, for it to tank so people get even more scared than normal people like us. So then they can buy even lower at a lower price. So comment down below what you guys think of this. Very, very interesting. And yeah, I applaud him for, you know, buying at uh, $10 million worth of Bitcoin. But yeah, guys, so my price prediction for Bitcoin is the next few days, we're going to make our way back up to the 20,000, get stuck around here, and then we're going to go back down. So I do believe we're going to end at 20,000, and then we're going to get rejected again. This might be the new resistance now, for now. So yeah. That is my price prediction. Let me know what you guys think of that. And some of the reasons why this is happening. As I said, the Fed meeting, inflation, fears of a recession, as well as people holding cash now, more cash, the stimulus checks, the economy not doing well, the all these crypto scammers coming out, getting exposed. Um, some banks... Or, you know, crypto exchanges being insolvent, meaning that they, they, they can't pay back the debt that they own. This is why I advise you guys, you know, to take off your cryptocurrencies off these exchanges and put it into a cold wallet. If you want a cold wallet, make sure to click the link down below. Go check it out. It's a Nano Ledger X, the best cold wallet on the market. With that said, this is DC Trading. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit or smash the like button because I will update you guys when Bitcoin will go to 7K. Yeah, peace.